Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Finding the Rain. Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time today, but um, you guys asked for it, and here we have Biola, my brother, and so if I'm here, you are seeing me, it means that I'm back in New Jersey, and I'll see this video together. Well, Alright, so um, a lot of stuff has happened like during the month of May, and this is like first week of June. So I just wanted to like rant about it. So it happened that I was here, you know, when like when most of these things happened. And um, you know, I haven't done like a hit video in a while, actually, because I've been like very, very busy work and some other stuff going on. But right now I'm here, that's what matters. So we're diving right into it. Um, the very first thing we're talking about is like the whole like shooting this thing. Like I've only said something how like America is like a big, it's like a bigger it's a Nigeria that has light and water, right? And something very drastic, something very evil happened like weeks ago in Texas, right? Where there was like a school shooting like in the Uvalde district. When that happened, like when I saw the news, I had like panic attacks. Because I saw Texas, so I was like, because I, I live in Texas, Austin, Texas, and I had a panic attack because I was like, it could have been anywhere. It could have been anywhere. Someone, someone, someone happened like in Buffalo, like here, yeah, here, right? The guy streamed it. He streamed it like live. So like, it's crazy because we could be in those grocery stores. Like you could, you could have been in one of those grocery stores trying to buy something, and, and someone comes in and guns, guns people down. Like it's crazy. And how that ties back to Nigeria today, like today, today's Sunday. I'm shooting this video on Sunday, and some of these people went on this. They said that I didn't even go around now. Gunmen, some gunmen. They went into like a Catholic church like this morning and killed like, children and parents, people. Like I don't understand. Like it's 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 crazy because there was even this you know there's some very graphic images. Um, there was a man who laid down on his son and these people still slaughtered both the man and his son. That's like some very 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 you know. Gory. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's wild because like when I was in the news, when I listen to the news, they wanted to say like they had time to kill everybody, they had time to use explosives, and they had time to like leave. Like there was no like you know like no repercussion. There was nothing. Like these things keep happening. These things keep happening back to back. Same way it happens in Nigeria. Same way it happens here. And then people go online and they they say oh, like our prayers are with Even the president, the Nigerian president, didn't have the dignity. To come like and stand in person. Like we're watching channels on YouTube today. Like they have the dignity to come in person and actually like address the nation or address the people that this is happening to. Like if they're just typing, or they just put this picture and they're just writing with the president sends condolences. Yeah. Like it's bad, it's bad enough that these things are happening, but like that we don't have like someone standing or actually like standing against this thing. Like it's I oh my, oh my, like it just says a lot about this and then America's is even different. Because like if you just go round and round and like in the end, right, it's the average citizen that bears the grunt of this thing. Right? You never hear that they typically keep sending to salt in in those grocery stores. How come? Because then they are living separate lives from us. Like as long as as much as yeah, like there's some some citizens have this thing, you never like it's like, how come you've never heard that okay, yeah, they typically killed this guy so in that Catholic church that he went to, or some more political son there. Then when it affects everybody, that's when like, you start seeing the real change or like <sighs> Yeah, and, and the ability for, for people to to empathize. You know, we mostly do not empathize when it doesn't when we don't really feel mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So the, the closer it gets to home is what makes people start getting um awake. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what they used to say that um and the tuba soft soldier mm -hmm. like if you throw um, like stone, it, it, you know, an axe or whatever into the marketplace, you know, if you touch it, your, your family member, when it touches that person, that's when you know why it is. Why you throw stone? Why you shouldn't throw into those places? So it's just kind of crazy because, you know, most of the time, and sometimes I start checking myself to like, I start becoming numb to this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at them like, oh, this thing, but then. Yeah, I'm like, wow, so whose family is? Yeah, these are people's families. Every individual there is somebody. It's not just the numbers. Like, this is the amount of things we've seen. So it's like, you look at this and it's like, oh, now you came to Buffalo, just right here mm -hmm. in New York. And you're like, oh, shoot. Like, some people have actually gone in there mm -hmm. and done this at any of these grocery stores. Then it starts getting real. We just not paying attention to this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the, the closer things get, yeah. the, the more you kind of, I hope to. 
you know, feel it. Yeah. Man, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's just crazy. Like, it's so broken. Like, when the one in the follow happened, I was like, okay, like, happened in the follow. Like, I was still sad. I was like, this is gone, this is gone, this is Then the text, text us what happened. Like, I had, like, literally, I was like, come on, bro, like, it's wild. So yeah, like that's that's the first thing I have to talk about. Like another thing that is that's mad that happened is uh, mostly the rent crisis, bro. Like it's, it's crazy to go from something like death to like this rent crisis because like rent are, rent is like thirty three percent, thirty percent like pre on what was what I was paying before. Like I was here doing me a lot of it. Like the rent rent is mad. Like I'm I'm just happy I I kind of I think I signed my lease. Um, like sometime last um, last year, so it's like before the jump in the drop. Yes, so I was like, but yeah, rent prices are. <sighs> Man, and we even live in Austin. We live in Austin right now. Austin is crazy. Cause all these people that live moved from New York, they moved from California during the pandemic. They moved into Austin, Texas, right? All these companies like Elon Musk is building a mega factory there. Um, we have Apple. They are building a new campus there. Google has a, like they're building one nice office there, AWS, all these people. So like everything is becoming more expensive. So like how we rent go from zero to like at the three percent. And like income is not really flying. So yeah, like what's going on? Like my, my private complex sent me like the rent this thing. It was so evil. They're not doing this like maybe for example my rent is 1700 and something. They're not if you want to do two months, it'd be like almost five thousand. So that there's so that there's no way like you can say let me do short short term this thing, it's be, it's be so much worse. So I'm just like what is going on? I said to like this like guy this like this thing is not sustainable. And that's the thing, like how sustainable is this? Like you trade on statistics that uh, a third of the people that make over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars are living hand to mouth. Yeah, paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. A third of those people are living paycheck to paycheck. You're paying wrong card notes, you're paying one this thing, you're living in one place in New York that is like six thousand or seven thousand dollars. Like, and New York is not because at least me, like, I can not console myself, like, I have the space. When I look at my walking closet, I'll be like, okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's not, maybe these people are catching up at this thing. But like, this place, just give me one small this thing, yeah. no laundry, no, no laundry system in your house, three thousand dollars, crazy. It's crazy. New York rent is, is, the, is, New York rent is the ghetto, for real. Yeah, New York rent is the ghetto. Yeah. A lot of people are moving out. Yeah, a lot of people are moving out. And the, the final fight will be between the, the, <laughs> the return to the office. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm working from home. Yeah, working from home. So most people now, you know, they will. The, the, the direct price are also following the amount of food that I have to work for mm -hmm. now. So many people will probably want to be mobile and move to other states. Yeah, and, yeah. true. True. See how that will play out. I think that's one of the things that happened during the pandemic where people are like, okay, now we're remote, like, you can wrap still using your yes, rent. Yes. Let's go somewhere else where everything is like much more affordable. And now they become to make it more expensive for people like us. So I uh, usually move back out. We we'll come back here. That's it. So yeah, um, the, the thoughts I'm going to talk about is like, when I was coming, right, I used United Airlines. I was telling this guy, like, I've been using Spirit. Last time, last time we did this video, this guy said I should not use Spirit again. I said, okay, yo, let me try and fly, because I booked my trip like quite last minute. Like, don't ask me like two weeks before, right? I was like, okay, I, I, flight prices are so expensive. Everything is so expensive, it's inflation. It's crazy, like everything is so expensive right now. I'm mad, because salary are going to so please, you should not have any. But yeah, like, I got to the airport. When I got to the airport, the man at the front, for some reason, the guy, the guy, the guy like, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't check in your bag. I can't check in my bag, like, how does that make any sense? I check in my bag, let me go to the, um, the TSA. I was like, no, I'm not gonna check in your bag because you're not going to make it through TSA before the flight takes off. Mind you, my flight was for seven. I got to the airport around six, 11, six, 12. That's when I go back drop there, I entered inside, Lined up due to this thing. I got there. Lord, I was sorry, like the flight is there, it's boarding by 625. Flight starts at 625. I was like, I'm going to make it through TSA. Last class, I'll beg you, please, like, I'm not to miss let me go through. And usually, people are always like, sweet, you mean good rules. Oh, like, okay, you can go through. This one, like, I'm sorry, I can't check your bag, the matter of policy, blah, blah, blah. Like, you make it through TSA, so that there's no point. I said, just check it in, like, I'll make it to say no. So, it was like, we're going to book it for another flight. No problem. So I went. The lady in front of that, I was like, okay, give me your document, I gave her my ID. 
She's like, okay, I can get you on the 7 a.m. flight. My flight is the 7 a.m. flight. <laughs> what do you mean you can get me on the 7 a.m. flight? I'm on the 7 a.m. flight. And I thought, I'm like, that's the flight I'm on. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, no, no, we can't get you on that. So I was like, let me sell my seat. What's going on in this place? You must literally sell my seat. United Airlines. Never like this is the first time, the last time, flying again. Just forget about it. And I look what bad PR in this industry. Because I'll put you on my Instagram story. A lot of people were not telling me like, oh, nah. like United at that day, they are never flying United again. No, like, this was space is even better than So like it was just crazy because I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, how? So this this is what this is what pissed me off. So I already accepted my fit. I was like, okay, maybe I can I can if you have come like me around 5 a.m. Alright. So now they gave me a new like boarding pass, right? I go to the TSA line. This is the fastest time I've walked to TSA in my life. In my life. It was less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. I made it to TSA. I got to my boarding gate by around 640, 645, 648. And that's when I called you. The guy was still there waiting for me. And I was like, I'm ah, waiting for you. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Did I give you my old? Since the guy, I don't know that guy said I want to through boarding uh, through TSA. So now I made it through TSA and I have my old boarding pass. So I gave that guy my old boarding pass. Let me see like I enter inside this plane. The guy scanned it and he was like, oh like I'm oh, sorry, like what's happening? Like, because he saw my name, saw everything. He was like, he's not letting me inside. I said, she, should I pity this guy? Let's tell him. So I now told him, I was like, yeah, like they tried to move me to this thing, like, like, like this is my old boarding pass. Because I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you inside this plane. My flight, my flight left me dead. The next flight they put me on was for 11. Now, I said, no problem. I waited there. And this, I woke up around 5.30. I waited there. I waited in the airport till like past 11. Now, I said that there were two available seats that they are not worried that I would definitely get seats, that uh, there are two people on standby and there are two available seats. I said, no problem. Around 10 20, something, around 10 20, when they started boarding for this new flight, I went to the front and I was like, okay, like, um, I'm on standby, like, this is my boarding pass. Uh, the lady was like, there's no empty seats on this flight. Eh? And he said, what did he say? <laughs> he said, ah, there's no empty seats. Everybody showed up. Eh? Everybody showed up. What are the odds that everybody showed up? She was like, ah, I'm sorry, I don't know why she would tell you like, that, they are, that this flight is actually full. That's so until like 30 minutes or 25 minutes to when the flight is about to take off before they know if everybody is coming on the flight. That's so until then I won't know. So now I was like, wait, so if everybody finally like, shows up, when is my, when am I going to leave this airport today? So I'm walking with you here. So I was mad, I was ranting here on my Instagram, like I was just ranting on my Instagram. I was so pissed. But at the end, I finally I was able to join that flight. So I was able to come and come down here. But like these things are these things like so destabilizing my whole this thing. When I got here, I met family, you know, so I was able to calm down. But like, what's like the worst experience you had like with flights and everything? Flights. Funny enough, I've always been flying spirit. Uh, Everybody says that spirit is spirit is, is an evil spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and that spirit has made the frontier. Two wrongs. Two wrongs cannot make it right. <laughs> but yeah, so I've not really had, but for me, you know that for me I hate flying. Yeah. So for me, flying is a bad experience. Every, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. So every time I'm prepared to get on a flight. For me, the only criteria for a good flight is that the flight lands. <laughs> as, long as, as long as we land, as long as we land, um, then it was good. <laughs> ah, so oh, I'm not really having it. But yeah, yeah. this is my, this is my worst flight experience. I never fly in the game. So yeah, like, um, thank you guys for watching. If you sus successfully went to the end, please like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you feel in the comment section. I went for a wedding, my brother and I was wedding, so I'm going to do a wedding vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned because that one is going to be a movie. It's going to be an absolute movie. I'm working on the edits right now. But like, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. See you guys. Thank you. See thank you guys you. in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. You know, bless you guys and have a nice day. Right.